Hey, I'm SKV and you're watching SKV Plays On and welcome to Assassin's Creed Origins. Yet another stream of Assassin's Creed Origins. Still trying to discover a few places on my new Game Plus mode. Still haven't done the complete 100% of the new Game Plus mode. Even though my main game is already 100% this new game plus mode I haven't finished up to 100% so yeah I'm gonna be trying and completing a few areas oh hello yo Panagiotis welcome to the stream started the stream and already we have an avenging quest <laughs> How are you, Panagiotis? Oh, and Panagiotis, I think uh, there could be like a... Uh, just check the scroll bar, I mean uh, the video, uh, the bar that you can go back and forth. I think that thing may be a little behind from the actual delay. Just check that once because otherwise you'll be uh, even if I miss out on some of the messages sometimes it might feel like I took more than a minute to reply or something. and hippos teaming up is it okay now cool. because uh, I noticed every time I uh, check for my messages you have a busy month this time oh I should investigate this Kinda me too. Uh, stay uh, Stasiu, Stasiu, or Stasiu, Stasiu, 1285. Uh, thank you for getting yourself killed. I'm gonna be avenging. Uh, oh, I'm already done avenging. And boom. Sorry if I couldn't watch your stream. Oh, don't be sorry, dude. <laughs> it's not like you have to watch the stream. I'm actually glad you guys watch my stream. And most of you are always regular, so I'm really glad. And you don't have to apologize. If you're busy, you're busy. That's it. You don't even have to give me a reason when you don't watch my streams. I mean, come on, it's just a YouTube stream of a game.
What the? I can't dive down? That's bad. That's really bad. Oh, I'm out of arrows just when this thing was about to die. Where'd he go? Oh, hey, Last Eagle. Were you busy today? Yeah, I was. Uh, I actually was outside the whole day today. Morning, I kind of logged into a few games, but then I had to go out. So, was out the whole day. That's the reason why I'm starting a bit late today. Oh, and I was actually thinking of uh, playing Dauntless, but I didn't see you on Discord, so I just thought I'll finish up with all the question marks on Assassin's Creed. Pretty much most of the restricted areas I'm gonna be doing in stealth today. As much as possible. Actually I can do do it in stealth. It's, it's just that once you get stronger than the enemies, you kinda don't really care about stealth that much because you already know you can take them out. I like the way they have this uh, thin film of uh, mist or fog uh, on the surface of the water. It makes it look that much more cool. And they don't even make it uh, happen only during uh, night or only during early morning. Uh, the timings of this game. They make it happen for every hour. to find found that quite a few loot treasures in this place I don't know which one belongs to this particular place It's perfect time for my country, 3.30. <laughs> for me, it's actually 6 now, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Oh, hey, AJ. Welcome to the stream. Jumped onto this. Uh oh. Oh, come on, wrong side. Oh, what the? Oh, hey, Shah the dude. Welcome to the stream. And a hello from India. 
Far Cry 5 is awesome. I love it. Can't stop playing. It's amazing. <laughs> well, actually, you're gonna have some... Well, you have enough time to play Far Cry 5 because... Me, even without uh, unlocking most of the discovered... I mean, most of the undiscovered places, I still was able to max out on my... Uh, uh, weapons and earn a lot of money just be, uh, just with hunting so you'll definitely have some fun hunting or, or, and fishing fishing is kind of tough though with some of the crazy quest related ones uh, you might have fun with those the admiral especially I still haven't caught that crazy fish <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, yeah, I thought I was jumping down into the balcony. Royal Flora. Oh, this one's pretty easy. It should be somewhere. Somewhere, where? I think somewhere here. Oh, there it is. That's the one. Pretty close by. I think I can go there. Although I have to take the boat. I play Far Cry 5. It is on my channel. Oh, go! Cool. I think we all play Ubisoft games, I guess. Right? <laughs> I just finished Far Cry 5 uh, streaming, I mean at least the main story part of it, I finished it day before, uh, Shaf the dude. The whole day today, net connection, you having issues with your internet last eagle today? It automatically is going login and log off. Wait, login, log off on your internet? Maybe you have some problem or issue with your router or something. If you are using a router, that's legal. Man, I love this mist. Look at the thin film of mist on the surface of the water. I still think, uh, I don't know if AJ will uh, agree with me, but I still think the graphics in this game, especially the open world graphics in this game, including the water graphics, all the fog and all the vegetation, whatever, it looks way more better as a open world compared to uh, Far Cry 5 but I guess Far Cry 5 is more uh, like I, s I always say uh, Far Cry 5 is more uh, towards the optimized end where uh, people even with uh, low-end PC or low-end specs can actually play the game with a smooth uh, smooth what? Uh, smooth gameplay I should be cautious around here. Uh-oh, where am I? Wait a minute. Aha, found the tree. That's the king of all trees. The only tree that is bigger than every other tree in this area. And since I have that particular uh, papyrus scroll, I don't get it. Why does he balance on this thing? It's just like a small bridge, isn't it? He can walk normally. Do NPCs also go that way? You know I missed four hunts today because of this uh, <laughs> connection. All of a sudden in the middle of the fight it shows connection lost. Oh. Dozer's pride. I 
I don't even know if D is silent or J is silent in that uh, shield's name. But then luckily, man, I wish we had some kind of a uh, crazy fire uh, outfit in this game. I mean, yeah, we have the dark side of the moon, but I mean, really, literally, like blazing fire so that you can actually light up uh, most of the parts uh, are around you just with the flames on you this particular outfit though doesn't really help that much even with the flames you're only able to see the outline of this outfit because of the flames but then this one crazy abyssal steed I mean, look at this thing it actually lights up some of Bayek's face also. See what I mean? SKB the most frustrating part, you know. I went for a scrape hunt with three more players. We fought pretty cool, hardly died. Finished the hunt in eight minutes. It showed hunt completed, my name showed and connection gone. After when it shows connection lost and I checked back and I have no yonder keys. Oh, wait, you completed the uh, hunt and it still said uh, you didn't get the keys? Oh, I know what would have happened uh, last eagle. Usually when you're in the game, even if you lose the connection sometimes, you can still play the game. You know what I mean? Uh, sometimes if you lose the connection, you'll still be in the game, but it only affects after you finish the hunt or something. But then you said uh, all the players were still in the game until the end. So I'm guessing maybe it was the connection going away after the hunt. By the way, SKB, my resistance now is 285. That's good. Uh, reach 300 resistance and you'll pretty much be uh, able to go up against the tier 3 easily and sword power is 225 225 uh, what weapon are you using by the way oh. all ammo main parts oh torso is 5 level <laughs> That's good. If you're using Ember Main, then uh, you're pretty much golden against Ember Main. But when you're going up against a Scrave, make sure you have the Ice Resistance. So that you don't get frozen too much. You'll end up freezing if you don't have uh, enough uh, Ice Resistance, Ice Elemental Resistance in Dauntless. At least for that particular Ice Behemoth. I repaired the game, still no result. Ember Sword. If you're using the Ember Sword, oh, you're still in the first level of the Ember Sword? I thought Ember Sword was like uh, 225 at the beginning, right? I don't have. Don't even know if I can get a. Oh great, it turned away when I was about to shoot. Got it. Oh look at the bleeding on that. I think it's because of the particular ability for uh, extra bleeding when you use warrior bows. Base level, actually I was upgrading the armor parts first. Yeah, I guess so. Upgrading the armor parts are better first because when you are at a lower level and still playing the game you always have to go armor parts for the resistance first and then go for the weapons and that definitely helps usually go for resistance so that you can stay alive for a longer time
Oh, I can stand in the bush and still be hidden because the bushes are tall here. Okay. Come on. Come on. What the? And I'm still hidden. Alarm! Over here! That's disgusting. On my way! Uh-oh. Should have stayed on the farm. Leave war making to warriors. Whoa. Five of them all of a sudden showed up. I know what to do. Wait a Easy smoke screen. Hey now. Hey now. Die you worm. What do you know now? Easy peasy done. Skv, so after maxing out Ember Sword and Ember Set, will I be able to go up against a T4 Hellion? Yeah, definitely. You have... Uh, wait, don't use a Ember Main Sword, use a Scrave. Use an Ice Sword against the Hellion. Or check what uh, Hellions are uh, weak against. Some of them I've seen, they use Lightning against a uh, hellion but yeah if you have the ember main it's a fire resistance type so definitely will help against a hellion and i think i might help you out later uh, dauntless Yesterday I said I'll help you out and then I kind of dozed off, <laughs> was too tired. I guess today I will be trying to complete a little bit of, uh, at least one side of it I'll try to finish up. Most probably the Heraklion Gnome side. I don't know if I should do the side quest. Okay, maybe I can do the side quest also and unlock a few question marks in this place while i'm at it why not just start off with redder shall we okay then i gotta get the scrave set scrave set when i say scrave go for the what do you say You know, if you were there online on Discord, I would have actually played Dauntless today along with you on the stream. But then now, if I have to change everything, I have to change the thumbnail, I have to change the description now. I have to change the game. I mean, I can change it, but this is the major thing that's, uh, that I'm doing today. Need some help finding some items for a friend and of mine. Ended stream late yesterday. Hands you with tired, the I Thanks, dude. Um, I'm actually free now. <laughs> I actually thought I'll play Dauntless today. You never cease to impress by We can actually switch to Dauntless right now. But then... Scepter of 30. Oh, I didn't have this. Okay, I'll take it. Finally got this thing. I didn't have that one before. I have 70,000 that I don't want to waste. Okay, let's do a little bit of stealth gameplay, shall we? Going to... Huh, which one has a proper mask? This one has a mask, but he's completely armored. Oh, this one has it. Maybe we can use... Uh, it looks like a desert warrior. Maybe I should go with uh, Isu armor itself. 
or maybe this guy. Yeah, let's go with this. In this particular Persian outfit it kind of looks like uh, a mix of uh, Persian metallic parts, the armor, along with the Altair's outfit, the white and red. What if they introduce another tier 6 and add a new powerful behemoths? They can do whatever they want, Last Ego, but uh, till now they haven't introduced the tier 6. And since the beginning there was only tier 5, so I don't know if they'll introduce a tier 6. Or maybe they'll introduce it when uh, the game actually becomes free to play. Not this one, I'm talking about Dauntless, of course, just in case anyone else is also listening to what I'm saying. I'm talking about a game called Dauntless which is still in closed beta. I actually wanted to play Warframe also today on stream. But what I noticed is Warframe is so flashy, so kind of... <laughs> It's like a <laughs> it's like a rave party inside a game or a game a hardcore type of a game a fast game that's completely like a rave party or something everything is so much like a disco light everything kind of blurs your eyes up pretty easily Oh, this is type of a big place. I think I can uh, get this thing done. Hey. Oh, some of them are sleeping. I can get them. <laughs> oh, hey, Terence. Welcome to the stream. the time you use some other uh, spears other than your favorite one uh, what was the last time oh when was the last time I used another spear I don't know I haven't changed these two ever since I finished up with uh, curse of the pharaohs I'm really stuck with these two and I really like this one as well because of the combo multiplier it has and for some reason, this one has a better poison effect or a poison damage compared to the other poison uh, weapons. I tested this one out with, uh, what is that called, Blades of Wajit or Twins of Wajit. Those uh, snake dual blades. This one had way more better uh, poison damage compared to, where is it, where is it? Wait, oh, the Wajet's knife, okay. It has way more, uh, better poison damage compared to this one. Maybe it's the combo multiplier or something that even multiplies on the affected uh, poison or whatever, uh, the enemies who are affected by the poison, I think. SKB taking a break from Far Cry 5. Not taking a break, I'm kind of uh, bored of hunting too much. I don't know, I got bored of Far Cry 5 pretty soon. I mean, once you finish the story mode, I think that happens. Or maybe I should actually, uh, you know, there's one option you get when you press escape. There's one option that says you can reset the outposts in Far Cry 5 and they'll all become uh, infested with all the enemies again. So I'm guessing maybe I should do that and get back to the game. I think it feels empty now because you've already taken over the regions. Uh, Jacob, J John and uh, Miss Faith. Shrekker 2, welcome to the stream. You'll be happy to hear that SKV actually told that he would stream. <laughs> Yeah, Terence, I was thinking about that. Uh, they were giving me choices for a horror game. 
and you did say Resident Evil, so Resident Evil 7, but I have to save up first for that <coughs> particular game. So as soon as I get that, you'll definitely know that I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> Although it's going to be... And someone said it's way more scarier than Dying Light, so... Ah, I don't know. I'm already hesitating a little bit now because after saying that I'd play it. Is the chance of the assassination. Skibi, what is the difference between lamb curry, mutton curry and goat curry? I don't know. I don't like uh, lamb curry. I'm a chicken and fish type of a guy. I don't eat lamb. Nor do I eat pork. Yes, but what is the difference in cooking the meat? I don't know. If I haven't tasted it, how would I know what the difference is? If I even haven't had a try, how will I know the difference? Lamb and goat, aren't they the same? Wait, what's a lamb and a goat? Aren't they the same? What the? Wait, they were still able to see me? How is that possible? I went behind the wall. SKB, why don't you eat pork? I don't know, I don't like it. <coughs> or maybe I'm uh, accustomed to eating only chicken and uh, seafood type of a thing since I was a kid. So I guess I'm... Uh, even, to, even when I tried it, I kind of wasn't able to eat it, I guess. And it's so, it's weird that I actually get to know that I'm not eating chicken if someone tries to trick me into eating pork or lamb. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, what? The, there's no window here? How do they have? This guy sitting down? No, no. 
That won't do. <coughs> Supposed to be sleeping. Uh oh, it's getting to be morning. Most of them who were sleeping might end up getting up now. And you've never eaten beef before? Uh, nope. I haven't eat. Uh, I haven't ate. Is that how I say it? I haven't eaten. Yeah, I haven't eaten beef. Is that how I say it? I haven't had beef before. Better not find anyone. Oh, and don't get me wrong, just because I'm Indian or something, that's the reason. <laughs> that's very... What do you say? Typical of someone to say that I don't eat beef because of that. I guess I haven't had beef because I never tried it. Some of them kind of get uh, tricked into having beef. I've heard their stories. And they don't even get to know the difference. I don't know how. Oh, hey, Rudy Joe, welcome to the stream. Man, these three are still waiting here. Huh. What do I do now? Yeah, boy. Smoke screen for them not to see me. And a sleeping dart into the fire. Oh my god, everything is blurry for me also. Sleeping dart into the fire so that they go to sleep. And I get easy assassinations. Oh wow, I didn't see this one. That's a nice touch. To some stealth possibilities. Oh, hey, El Flaco Rodriguez, welcome to the stream. Uh, racist and I am not. I didn't call you racist, Terence. <laughs> I was just saying, just in case you thought uh, I didn't eat beef because I'm Indian. I mean, I understand if you go abroad and all, that's the major thing that uh, is available. If you're a non-vegetarian or whatever and you have to get, I mean, you have to adapt according to your environment and all that, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can find a KFC somewhere, right? It's just the fact, I mean, it's just about uh, either being used to it or not being used to it, that's all. And uh, I am not used to lamb, pork and beef. Only chicken and fish. Anything seafoody. Do you get some reward for playing the horde mode in the arena? Yes, El Flaco Rodriguez. Uh, make sure you finish both the normal and the elite version of the horde mode. Oh wait, not horde mode. Oh, I thought you were asking about the... Uh, no, no, no. I don't think you get anything from uh, horde mode. Uh, we've all played... Panagiotis has played more than everyone. He's got the highest score till now and he hasn't got anything from the horde mode. Even after defeating all those skull enemies, I don't think you can get uh, anything from horde mode. You can get... Uh oh, he's going away too far. Ah, uh, he saw me. You will pay, corpse. And This is bad. This is really bad. 
Oh, this is good, actually. And... Oh, boy. Boom! Can't get the angle because of Bayek being the center point of this camera, rotation, whatever. <laughs> Let's take it to the left. KFC here is terrible. Chicken either too crispy or too salty. Oh, really? I don't know, I thought KFC abroad is better than what we have in India. I mean, I thought that by default. Where is the other loot treasure? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> right next to me. But there's this one time in college, uh, a Christian girl got a beef sandwich, and she, <laughs> and she was having her sandwich. She didn't say anything. She was just having her lunch or something. And then one of my friends uh, went up next to her and said, uh, "Can I also have? I'm hungry." My friend hadn't had anything to eat, so she was also hungry and she thought she saw this girl having a sandwich. She didn't know it was beef sandwich and then she had a bite and she liked it. And guess what? She had no idea and she had half of the sandwich. And then later, <laughs> we all asked the girl, uh, this was a Christian girl. So, she didn't mind having beef or whatever, right? So, later she tells that this is a, this is beef and there's a mashed uh, bones also included <laughs> along with a little bit of uh, meat in it. And man, oh man, you should have seen the, <laughs> you should have seen my friend's face. She was so devastated that she had beef. It not even, she wouldn't have minded if it was uh, chicken or whatever, but then, crazy. I don't think this was anything to do with hunger, Last Eagle. Even if she was crazy hungry, if she knew that was beef, she wouldn't have touched it. She's the typical uh, Hindu type of uh, girl, so... <coughs> She, she doesn't mind just in case uh, by mistake if she had chicken, but beef uh, beef was a no-no, I think, for uh, her. And guess what? She calls up her mom and tells, Mom, I had beef today. <laughs> and her mom goes ballistic on the phone. We, and we are looking at her. Are you crazy? Why would you call your mom and tell that? She's like, I don't keep any secrets. Oh my God. Staying away from her. She'd get us into trouble if we did something stupid. She'd call up her mom and tell, Mom, SK we did something like this. I guess it's a lame story. It, it happens all the time, I guess, right? around wait I think I'm done with this place am I not yes I am moving on I don't even remember killing the captain and uh, commander oh my god 
Kick her from your friends group. Nah, dude, I don't kick anyone from the friends group. It's most probably the other way around. They kick me from the friends group because I'm too annoying sometimes. <laughs> but I can't help it. I like to tease people, like how QVXL teases me how, or how Terence tries to get me killed and then tease me in this game by giving me crazy challenges. But I guess some of them don't really get the comedy part of that. Oh, taking out even the bandits. Finally a finisher. Now just like one of my friends who is Muslim that not knowingly ate bacon from a pizza. Oh my god, that is a big no-no. That is a big no-no I think in the Muslim community. We don't even... It's kind of really sad. I mean, I would say... I really don't like the differences and the crazy fighting that happens because of the whatever racism, casteism. Yeah, we're all humans, right? But then everyone's been saying that for so long, no one even cares about uh, us saying that we are all humans. They'd rather choose the differences than uh, being one and getting along. I hate pizza and burger. Really? You hate pizza? How do you hate pizza, dude? It's pizza. How do you hate pizza? Last Eagle? <laughs> Till date, some of them don't know that uh, Having uh, those pigeon crap or pigeon crappings or whatever droppings I would say on the jumping point is a dead giveaway for uh, something like a haystack or water down below and you can do a leap of faith. Some of them don't know that till date and they've been playing as much as I have. I've seen some of the videos and Right in front of one, I don't want to name them, but there's uh, pigeon droppings at the edge of the uh, whatever jumping spot and they didn't even think about uh, jumping. They were searching for a way to jump off. It's right there. And they couldn't see the haystack down below, so they like just jump from the side. How do you do, how do you not know that? That's the most common thing, I think. That's the most basic part of this game. If you see pigeon droppings at the edge of a ledge, you just go for the faith. I mean, leap of faith. Hmm. Leap of faith. Lots of Far Cry uh, <laughs> related names. I am... Uh, I love pizza and burger, I like sandwiches more. I don't understand these chests uh, that they keep giving us, the, these regular weapons and shields. I know, right? Uh, they should have included a few legendary ones. Maybe they should start making epic weapons now, rather than legendary. Wait, is epic 
uh, higher than a legendary or is legendary higher than an epic? <coughs> SKB, you know that Salman Khan is arrested and punished with five years of jail. Yeah, I heard. I saw the news. Uh, the black buck hunting or something, right? But it said poaching rather than hunting in the news title. I didn't know Salman Khan poaches. I know that he goes hunting, but I don't think he poaches anything, <coughs> right? But yeah, I guess if he broke the law, even he's not above the law. I feel bad though, I'm a Salman Khan fan, but yeah. I don't even understand, is it a publicity stunt or whatever? Why does he need to get into such trouble? Five years is not a small time, he knows it. Or maybe he didn't know it was illegal in that spot or whatever and got screwed. You never know. Well, where is a boat when you need one? Haluka! <coughs> SKV, that is actually a feature a feature from the early Assassin's Creed game. When you see birds standing on a roof. Yeah, I know, right? I, I'm telling you, even till date, uh, some of them who play Assassin's Creed, either they didn't see the pigeon droppings or the birds at the edge of a ledge to do the leap of faith. Or they literally didn't know that that's what the birds are for, to show you the spot for jumping off. I need to get this one particular photo. How do I get this photo? Oh boy. So weird to control the whole model. If you're wondering why I'm taking this picture, it's mainly because of the boardwalk or whatever it's called. It's a boardwalk, right? And that uh, wooden pathway or whatever. I'm just trying to get that in a blur and then these yeah like Sanjay Dutt he also hunted deer yeah but Sanjay Dutt knows now he doesn't want to go back he knows and besides it's a waste of time isn't it five years oh my god even <laughs> one week if you don't do anything it feels like a huge waste of time so you can imagine I mean, I don't know what they'll do or how they're going to be treated in prison just because they're uh, famous or whatever. But then it's still five years and you're going to be inside. Yeah. I'm pretty sure some of them go crazy because of that, the time that they spend. Maybe that's the punishment for whatever they did. Man, I've heard this one story where uh, someone kind of got uh, uh, jailed or whatever for 30 years plus or 35 plus years for being wrongly accused of something. And then when they uh, got out, it was already like what? They had already reached uh, an age of 70, 75 something. They were actually compensated with a few million dollars or something for their life. But then, what are they going to do at that age? You know what I'm saying? With all the millions of dollars. I mean, they can get a retirement, but then 35 years was wasted for being wrongly accused. Oh, 
Oh, hey, uh, how do I pronounce that? Uh, Deutschland fans? Is it Dutchland fans? Or Deutschland fans? Welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the first one. Oh, the white one is the leader, right? Yeah, a headshot. Whoa, where did that one come from? Did it just spawn? Salman's Race 3 is gonna release in June. I didn't see that message. Oh wait! Salman Khan's Race 3 is releasing in June? And him getting into jail is supposed to be a publicity stunt? I don't think so dude. Last Eagle. Is that what you mean? Or did I misinterpret it? a while since I wore Mr. Mummy and then maybe we can go with uh, where is the camel eternal vigil and these two things were made to be together look at this the mummy and the eternal vigil the best match in the game I would say the best match no, oh, SKV, I mean that uh, the film is supposed to be released in June and now he's in jail. Yeah, I don't know. As a fan, yeah, I kind of feel bad. I've been watching ever since Andaz Apna Apna. Those are like the, those are the classic movies that kind of got me to being a Salman and Amir Khan's fan. But then... Uh, these kind of things when it happens, I'm like, ah, why do they do it? I'm pretty sure it may not be a mistake. They might have known and still went ahead with it or something. Or are they so well off right now that they are totally bored and they do these kind of things just to make things interesting? Because I hope not. What are you talking about, Last Eagle, SKV? Oh, uh, talking about a famous actor from uh, Bollywood uh, getting into trouble, go, getting a five-year sentence uh, to jail, or sentenced to jail for five years because he was hunting a black buck or whatever, and it was illegal or something. So he's going to jail. He's actually already been taken to jail, I think. Uh, hunting a black buck. I think that was his crime. Oh, how did he turn? And I thought I could have been more.
So SKV, you're not a Shah Rukh Khan fan? Glad to know among the Khans, I prefer Amir and my favorite actor overall is Akshay Kumar. Oh, I don't know. I don't discriminate between the <laughs> actors because I kind of enjoy uh, whatever entertainment they can give me through their films. I don't have a favorite, I would say. But if you're asking who I admire more as an actor or uh, as someone in Bollywood, then I would have to say... Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to... Okay, as a kid, I would definitely love to watch uh, Amitabh Bachchan movies that used to come on Sundays. And then... Uh, Kind of slowly did a transition towards Jackie Shroff, then uh, <coughs> Mithun, then... <laughs> uh, I, I like all of them, dude. They all are pretty talented. SRK, Salman, Amir. They are all pretty talented. Even Akshay. I like Mekiladi, Tuanadi and all that. SKB, Last Eagle, who is your favorite actress in India? Oh, actress in India? Oh, that's a toughie. Mm. Actress in India? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe when you ask us on the or ask me on the spot or whatever, if you put me on the spot to uh, choose a favorite one, and I don't have uh, time to think about it, then maybe I might not be able to say who I might uh, think is better or is my favorite. I didn't know the soldiers would pray in this game. I saw this guy praying. That's a first. They never used to do that, did they? What the? I'm just asking most chance, I don't know about uh, them anyway, but if you give me a name, I will research them. Oh, Indian actresses and models are beautiful. Eh, I don't know. I guess... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know who to choose. Okay, uh, what do you mean? Uh, how do you want me to choose uh, on looks or something, or talent, or if they're really good at acting, or any crazy talent that they have? Welcome, friend. Because obviously, all the actresses are beautiful. It'll be pretty hard to choose, and I'm being optimistic. About, I mean, I'm being safe and diplomatic about my uh, answers right now. <laughs> sea of Sand, in southeast of Emanom lies a broken ship. Oh! Past time till morning. Oh, I can do this. Am I close to Ement now? I think so. Oh, it's here. Hmm. 
Man, I don't know. I if I have to answer Last Eagle first, I would say I have quite a few favorite actors in Bollywood already, so it's pretty hard to say anything about anyone. And to answer uh, Terence about the actresses, uh, I don't know. Well, right now I see Priyanka Chopra being very uh, popular and all in, uh, well, not in India, not just in India. I'm talking even abroad, even in uh, Hollywood now. Priyanka Chopra is doing great. Most of us are pretty proud. I don't know if I'm proud, but I'm really envious that she's pretty famous and all that. <laughs> Even if I'm a guy, I'm pretty envious of her, about how she's doing so well, to be honest. But I don't uh, say anything about her talent. She's pretty talented, really talented. But then if I think about other... Where is that particular place? Is it this one? Yami Gupta, Anushka Shetty, Anushka Sharma, Samantha... Oh, no, no, no. Anushka Shetty, I agree, but... Yami Gautam... I don't know, man. I don't even want to get into this anymore. <laughs> it's really hard to choose. Is it the actress doing the Quantico? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Priyanka Chopra, the Quantico TV series. I mean, I I don't know. I'm I'm kind of not attracted to her. Uh, but I really admire the talent she has. And she's really good at acting too, so I don't have any... Found it! Oh my god, I got a sh uh, I got a plate. Again, as a shield. To be honest, I, I haven't even seen Quantigo yet. I mean, I can go check it out right now, but eh. I don't know, maybe if you would have asked me some somewhere like a, a few years back or something. Okay, maybe in my college days or whatever, then maybe I would have had a favorite but now it's mostly I'm just uh, more interested in the movies rather than the, uh, what do you say, uh, specifically uh, the actors. I don't really go for specific actors or whatever to select favorites. I just go for the entertainment. Mostly now, I don't really end up choosing who's better and whom to pick as my favorite anymore. SKV saying something Indian. I want to hear your language. My language, well, I'm from uh, the state of Karnataka in India. So, I'm a Kannadiga and I talk Kannada, at, uh, which is my mother tongue, Panagiotis. You want to hear me talking, <laughs> speak Kannada? I don't think you'll understand anything. <laughs> yes, I want to hear you. Hi, to Kerlusko.
ಈಗ ತಾನೇ ಒಂದು ಸಿಮ್ ಅನ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಕೋಂದಾಕ್ದೆ ಒಂಟೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಅದು ಕೂತ್ಕೊತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಓ ಒಂಟೆ ಓಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲಾಫಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೌ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಟು ಚಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಗ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಮೂರು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಜನನ ಮೇಲೆ ಹೋಗಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಪ್ರೆಡಟ್ ಅಬೋ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಪ್ರೆಡಟ್ ಅಬೋ ಇಂದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸಾಯಿಸ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಪೆನಗಿ ಯೋಟಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೆ ವಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಡಾಮ್ ರೂಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ನಾಡ್ i to actually if you if i think about oh what the actually to tell you the truth terence in college i i really didn't have those posters i most probably would have had uh, either barcelona uh, football club posters or most probably nba posters on on my uh, not even the wall the cupboard maybe a few cars and bikes but this was this was somewhere uh, at the beginning of college i never had uh, actress posters or model posters on my wall or whatever that's not to draw attention yeah I was definitely more interested in uh, sports and vehicles if I was going to have posters So you're a Messi fan? Oh, yes. Yes I am a Messi fan. I am a Barca fan, but I am a Messi fan first. Lionel Messi I'm actually a David Villa fan I'm a Iniesta fan Xavi well most of them in uh, Barcelona some of them in Arsenal some of them in uh, Man U well at least the classic ones of course I was the type of person who would have uh, a favorite in each league like uh, English Premier League I would have uh, for a few <laughs> for a few seasons Arsenal and then suddenly I would go to Man U but then for uh, what is this La Liga or something I would definitely always be Barcelona I mean and then uh, when i was watching bundesliga i would go for uh, bayern munich you know <laughs> oh did you guys see the ronaldo bicycle kick man that was so cool the ronaldo's bicycle goal i mean the goal kick that he got that was pretty awesome and i also don't compare ronaldo and messi at all so you don't even have to ask me oh you didn't see the ronaldo's bicycle kick the recent juventus match or whatever check it out there are so many highlights going on and there are already comparisons between ronaldo and uh, messi's bicycle kicks i keep seeing so many of them putting up videos as soon as that thing went crazy everyone went crazy with the bicycle kick Uh, as soon as ronaldo did that one bicycle kick and then the goal it's pretty awesome what what the where did he go bro I mean I understand uh, fans definitely need to have a rival pick up torch 
Whoa, magic. I just picked up a torch which wasn't lit. And then I thought I could use it as a normal stick, but then poof. I also don't compare Ronaldo and Messi, SKV and yeah, I saw the bicycle kick. Not the bicycle click, the bicycle kick. <laughs> bicycle click. That's the first time I heard that, bicycle click. What's a bicycle click? Storm coming. But yeah, I am a Ronaldo fan from when he was uh, in Manu, so I don't uh, compare him with Messi. Ronaldo is like a, whatever talent and skill he has, it's all hard work. Messi, he's like a God-given gift, I would say. And yeah, he has done a lot of hard work as well, uh, having that crazy. Uh, whatever that growth hormone uh, issue when he was a kid or something he's really come up pretty well all by himself a good rivalry and all is fine I don't uh, say anything about that but some of them take it way over the top uh, start uh, saying all sorts of crap about uh, each player just to support their own favorite players. <laughs> they don't see both the sides of the story at all. Much like how we don't see the other side of the story when it comes to these games. We just want to support Bayek rather than support uh, the villains, the crazies in this game. <laughs> Well, I kind of support the bosses as well because they look so cool. But then I'm just waiting till the control panel shows up soon. Ronaldo has achieved the skills. Messi is born. Yeah, he's definitely gifted. Messi is a gifted player and he's kind of chiseled that whatever he has, whatever the talent he has into proper skills. He... If I have to talk about Messi, I would say Messi hasn't changed at all. I mean, his game has improved, but his uh, playing style is kind of similar to how he was as a kid. I've seen most of his kid videos. Uh, it's pretty much similar. The way he runs, the way he tackles. It's a shame to see three dead left neglected. What happened? They were just brought here, Magi. Then you definitely His should play Assassin's down, so Creed Rogue. Only the daughter, Ira, survived. <laughs> nah, she first things first, one I'm one actually one. hoping to finish up with uh, Assassin's story. Creed uh, 2, like you said. I'm just Where waiting to get the game. The and then the also the Resident Evil 7 to, to have a laugh. And you guys can yeah, like be the ones who are laughing because I'll be crazy scared just playing that game and which other game I don't know I am still I kind of still like Dauntless but then uh, I don't know if uh, viewers who watch my streams like Dauntless that much only few of us like Dauntless or maybe the gameplay is very slow I would say this one, even if you're running around the places, it's pretty awesome. There's something to do or something to see every few steps away. But in Dauntless, it's just uh, standing in the town waiting for a good group to take you into their team and then go for a hunt, which kind of takes more than 15-20 minutes, which really sucks. <coughs> Yo, Pete Gamer! Welcome to the stream! Speaking of Dauntless, <laughs> Pete Gamer, you were asking for Dauntless, right? But then you're not on PC. <laughs> what? How are they able to see me when I'm hiding? 
so weird. more than dauntless <laughs> peep gamer saying he likes more yeah i was actually actually thinking about uh, fortnite as well some of you did ask me to play the game i'm thinking of getting fortnite and start playing Call fortnite crazy, although i'm I not a pvp player Got your back. man worry. i've seen so many of them have records of wins Kind of crazy if I join now, hey. isn't it? Hey, ah, come on. Going I thought that was a proper. <laughs> SKV, some of us, the players actually bought Founders Pack of Dauntless. <laughs> I'm I'm trash in Fortnite, but I still play. This can be 7.20. Uh, 7.20. Streaming Assassin's Creed 2. I can imagine from now. Uh, Dauntless. I would say if you have a group, if you have a group to play with, it's definitely fun. Uh, just hunting behemoths is really fun and it's not something that uh, you get uh, get done very soon if you've already seen my gameplay from uh, Dauntless you know it takes quite some time just uh, and it doesn't show a health bar or whatever for uh, the behemoths so it definitely peace, keeps you wondering when it's going to die or whatever but yeah you Your definitely need a so. group in Dauntless to have fun. I've Otherwise, you just end up waiting a lot rather than name? progressing. A priest told me of you. Ah. Have this land for KV, so when will you start land Resident land Evil 7? As soon as I get the game, I'll let you know, Terence. I'm actually saving up right now. And then if you keep asking every day, it's gonna take longer. Birthday. You'll know as, as, as soon as I get the game, Terence. I definitely want to sure try it out as well. Uh, it's try. been a while since I played any Villa horror game, so it should be fun. Here, I might have to wear a diaper, but yeah, should be fun. If you fail, tell the world I died preserving my family's legacy. I got two victory royals yesterday in high explosives. Oh, nice! Congrats, Pete. Three wins. Nice. Uh, for me, I don't know if I'll even be able to get a win. Even just one win. Kinda. But let's see. I'll let you guys know. Maybe I can join you guys for a... For a tag team or whatever. That would be nice. SKB, when you play the horror, when will you play the horror game? I don't know. I am actually saving up now again uh, for to buy new games. Whoa. I had a few uh, Steam Wallet uh, amount, but then yesterday I thought I was buying some stupid horror game, but then I listened to some crazy person and then ended up buying some stupid adult game. I really got uh, PO'd. So I kind of deleted that, but then the money is still wasted. <laughs> I thought it was a horror game because it had that horror vibe and all that. But then, eh, stupid, stupid uh, advice from someone. 
I don't even want to name that person right now. <laughs> One of my friends. But if I get the Resident Evil or Dying Light, whatever whatever horror game I do get, I'm definitely gonna put up the reminder, so don't worry about that. One sniper shootout and two high explosives. Nice. I've seen Fortnite gameplays and I I always see everyone just jumping around so that they get they avoid the whatever one shot kills or whatever I think right uh, we're waiting to hear SKB's reaction in Resident Evil <laughs> yeah I don't know the way you guys put it the Resident Evil game kinda is already scaring me a little bit yesterday someone said it's way more scarier than Dying Light and I'm like uh oh stay there. I shouldn't have opened my mouth about getting the game uh, now I have to get the game, but I'm saving up first and then gonna get the game. I'm actually most probably, if I'm saving up most of the time, it's mainly for a new game. And then I always go for the older games. Got you! The letter will find the virus. Sophronios, get another man made butcher for the sake of wealth. Yes, and this place is finished. But I guess I need to get out of this place before I get spotted again. Well, SKB, can't you refund the games that you don't want uh, bought on Steam? I don't know how to refund it. I don't think you'll get a refund once you buy them. I mean, these are like really, uh, what do you say, very low price games. But still, it's a waste of money, I would say, to buy something stupid and then realize that it's really a stupid game. To be honest, Resident Evil is just a little scared but nerve-wracking when you fight enemies. Yes, I know, I've played Resident Evil 4. I don't know how much it's changed by now but I've played Resident Evil 4 and it kind of scares the crap out of you. If, you. if you're really not expecting something and it suddenly happens, I know how that feels. <laughs> oh man, especially those crazy zombies showing up. Eh. I don't know and it's the camera angles are so close that you don't get you know how I'm able to see this much of a wide area right now and when I'm fighting I can actually expect something to happen but then when the camera angles are like so close and you're fighting someone and it's like this and then you're looking at and you're looking around and it's it's so compact on the screen it, it kind of makes you look around everywhere mm. first before entering any place that's what kind of creeps me out a little bit you don't get a wide range of view to even prepare yourself oh it's happening again textures are not loading in see why is the texture like this? That's weird. That boat looks fine. This boat looks crazy. Can I climb this thing? Oh, what the? Is this a bug? That's a first. I didn't know there's a boat that's a bug. Looks like every other boat is fine. I think this one's definitely a bug. Huh. But the frame rates are not dropping, so I guess that's the hey, that's one glitch. Stop. 
Guards here are vigilant. Am I done with this place? What the? The bugged boat is the one I'm supposed to take out? What? What is going on? Okay, let me try. How am I supposed to take out a ghost boat? That's so weird. Man, would you, would you stop? I'm actually trying to figure out. And he's shooting arrows at me. Uh, hey, oh. To be honest, Resident Evil is just a little scary. If you start playing Fortnite, you'll get crazy amount of subscribers. Yeah, I know, I know. I've seen many of them who just start Fortnite. They just start getting a lot of subscribers <laughs> easily. Because there are so many fans for Fortnite now. And everyone's gameplay is pretty fun to watch. But I guess it's more fun if you have a proper uh, group on Discord and talking around and then playing. I guess those guys get more uh, subs than the ones who do solos. Well, at least if you have the ability or capacity to get those wins, then it's easy for you to get the subs or whatever. But I don't know, if isn't it like kind of forcing yourself to play some game uh, if you're not used to it or something just to get the subs? I mean, I might be talking weird. I know the whole point about making streams and all is to uh, get some good amount of subs, but still. I don't know, maybe I'm not that person who would like to play some game that I really don't like. I mean, I haven't tried Fortnite yet, but I'm just saying, I'm not good at PvP. I may not even end up getting subs because of the way I might play Fortnite. But let's see. Oh, hey, Ordell. Thanks for keeping on playing Origins. Way too many Far Cry videos on YouTube these days. Well, yeah, Far Cry 5 is pretty, pretty much the most recent Ubisoft game. So you'll definitely be seeing a lot of Far Cry 5. But for me, I think Far Cry 5 kind of as a franchise even, I think Far Cry 5 uh, or just Far Cry games, it's not easy to play them over and over again once you finish the main story. Well, at least this one has the option to give you outpost reset so that you can actually fight more enemies on the same outpost which you've already cleared. Somehow this stupid bug is not clearing up. I don't know what's wrong with it and I may not get a 100% clearing on my new game plus mode. Maybe they'll, they know about this bug, I hope. Oh, and if anyone's gonna play uh, Assassin's Creed Origins today, please do check uh, near to Alexandria at this spot here, near to this uh, lakeside villa outpost. Is there a bug or not uh, of a ship? Just make sure to check this place. What are you laughing about, Panagiotis? Please check if there's going to be a bug for you also. If not, then maybe it's a bug for me. I might have to restart and then check later. I don't know, but I think Assassin's Creed Origins definitely has the best graphics. Uh, just comparing it with Far Cry 5 open world. Uh, because they did take a month off of the actual release date. After uh, they said they're using some kind of graphics implementation from the Origins. Uh, to improve the graphics in... Uh, Far Cry 5, I kind of expected it to be even more better compared to this one, but then, I don't know, I didn't even like uh, the water graphics as much as I do in this game, 
but then that game is completely optimized to be smooth on most of the uh, most of the uh, low specification uh, PCs too. So I say Far Cry 5 for gameplays is way better without any, not too many issues, of course. Uh oh, where am I climbing? <coughs> Yeah, you're right. I don't get enough of the beauty of Origins. I know, right? I mean, most of the time, even if I just start playing this game, even if it's not on the stream, uh, when I'm playing this game, I'm most probably uh, just running around. I'm not even uh, trying to do any side quests or uh, any of the question marks, uh, discovering whatever, trying to unlock a few question marks on the map. I don't do those. When I'm when I'm playing uh, well when I'm playing the game which is not uh, during the stream, I'm talking about those times. I definitely just keep roaming about. I usually am in the water body side of the map. I'm usually just swimming inside underwater and all that, or I'm most probably killing lions because I end up going towards the green mountains not lions, leopards most probably, most of the time okay, I just enjoy the open world graphics in this game way too much and the fact that you have the photo mode just makes it even more better I say one and two I'm not stopping. I'm just gonna keep going. Every time Last Eagle stops chatting in the stream chat, you know that he's already on Dauntless. That's a dead giveaway now. <laughs> he's always gonna be playing Dauntless if he's not chatting in stream chat. And I also took out that one particular option that makes uh, everything more clear underwater. Uh, which is the one, this one, depth of field. Underwater, uh, I took it out so that it kind of makes everything more uh, blurry, out of range. Kind of gives you a proper feeling of being inside water, I would say. But the range also is not uh, too small, as you can see. Is it just me or have the water graphics made everything around Bayek do a wavy thing? It's actually waving around a lot. I mean, look at it. I think I didn't notice this before. Or was, or was it already there since the beginning of the game? SKB, how many boats you can see in Lake Mariotis? How many boats I can see? What do you mean? Using Senu or using only uh, Bayek perception? Uh oh, no, get out. I forgot, I forgot there's a limit. Uh, Panagiotis, was it uh, using um, Senu or was it using just Bayek? Because using Senu, I can see a lot of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 
46 over here if you can see it 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 and even that bogged boat 55 56 57 use map how do you see boats on a map I don't think you can see the felucca you can only see the big boats I would say uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight of them I think if I counted properly is this a boat yeah this one is a boat uh, so I'll start from the bottom in Lake Marriott is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve in the docks thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen oh hello gotta go avenge have to avenge captain avenger here <laughs> let's go let's go let's go why am i going in reverse and then speed Kinda cool how the sails just go translucent or transparent just so you'll be able to see where you're going rather than always looking at it from the bottom of the sails. Did you see Panagiotis? I used the map. I don't know what you wanted to see or what you were trying to ask me but I could see around 13 plus boats. Or were you asking the main boats that are actually in the water rather than in the docks or the harbor? Panagiotis, are you there? Oh, and if anyone is online on uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, could someone please check and see towards the south? I think, where is it? This particular question mark uh, near to Lakeside Villa Outpost in Lake Mariotis. If there is a boat with a question mark and is completely bugged and doesn't have... Oh, what? It has texture now? Oh, it still doesn't have. Okay, this one's definitely bugged. Even the NPCs on it are pretty much just... I haven't that boat close to Lakeside Villa. Oh, you don't have it? I guess then only, uh, it could be a bug only for me. Maybe I kinda, I don't know. I don't know how it even got bugged. <coughs> the tombs and find ancient tablets all over. Uh, oh, I, I didn't see that message or else, sorry about that. <coughs> What have I found here? And you already know, as soon as we get an avenging quest, we have to, have to wear all tears outfit to avenge them. Oh, this place. Again? <coughs> or else what the... I love to explore tombs and find ancient tablets all over again with NG+. Good way to max abilities. Yup, uh, new game plus mode is the best way to max out some of your uh, master abilities, I would say. Definitely gives you a lot of abilities. I mean, look at this. I have 34 on each now. Each of it. And these are not from the glitch, might I add. This is since the beginning. I've been earning each of the master ability points. Of course, after uh, getting all these uh, skill tree abilities first, then I went for the upping of all the master abilities. But yeah, new game plus mode definitely uh, helps you get a lot here. of extra points now.
And done. Thank you, Feng Jin, 15, for giving me the opportunity to avenge you. Although, this one's kind of bugged. It's weird because I thought it would uh, fix itself by texturing itself and all, but then I think it's kind of completely stuck. So this is how the models are. Simple. Oh, is that a treasure chest? Oh, wait a minute. What is this? And I can go through it. I don't even... Well, looks like it is a bug. And I think it only... Let's see. Hopefully, it kind of sets itself right later. Just now heard that... Uh, Salman Khan got bail as well. See, I knew it. Famous people get away with things. What? How much was the bail? Bail money. Uh, last ego. You know, sometimes even though I'm a fan, I feel like why do you do things to get caught and then you have to pay bail? Uh, just don't do stupid things. You might as well keep that money. Right. What the, I'm pretty sure I had something going on right now. Aha. That's the one. And I haven't unlocked. Oh my god. Alexandria is still question marks question marks papyrus scroll papyrus scroll loot treasure fast travel points what i haven't unlocked anything what the i've been doing the story mode all the time that i didn't end up unlocking those that is not disclosed oh the bail money is not disclosed eh? i wonder how much he could have given or someone else would have paid just to keep him out. I mean, the movie is going to be released, right? You know what? I'm kind of missing horde mode a lot. Maybe I can start off with the horde mode. But then if I start the horde mode, it's going to be the end of the stream. I think I'll uh, take a few more minutes to do this particular side quest and maybe unlock a few places in Alexandria first and uh, maybe visit that under underground uh, tunnel or whatever we found last time which we kind of really liked. SKB right now we uh, random four went on uh, patrolling and we got Drask Guess what, we cut its tail, then he just went to uh, rage mode. Wait, what? Drask doesn't go to rage mode. What happens is, uh, Drask kind of gets electrified. Uh, and then shoots lightning. After you cut the tail off, always stick either uh, behind the Drask. Or you either stick to its head and avoid it uh, doing those uh, 360 body slams how do you how do you die after uh, cutting off its tail it's like 50 percent of its attacks are gone uh, the behemoths attacks are gone once you take out the tail <laughs> A beautiful end to a beautiful existence. I will tell the rest of this if I see her again. That was easy. Side quest. Now to go find the fast travel point. Oh, hey, QVXL. Welcome to the stream. 
Some kid got mad at me for celebrating April Fools since the Pope cancelled it. Wait, what? Wait, what? QBXL, what? A, someone got mad at you for celebrating April Fools? What did you do? Tell me that first. What did you do to fool him or whatever? You tell me first and then I'll decide whether I should get mad at you or not. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Diocles? Oh, this is the old version of Diocles. Check this out. Yo. This is how Diocles looks when he's old. <laughs> we found Diocles when he's old. Easter egg. Or maybe it couldn't be an easter egg, I don't know. Yeah, it electrified its whole body. Yeah, when the Drask actually electrifies its own uh, whole body, uh, Last Ego, what happens is it just uh, either does a, some kind of a magnetic or electric uh, blast by slamming the ground with its right arm or it uh, backs up a little bit and then you get to know it's going to go for three lightning strikes from its mouth. That's what you need to avoid. That one and the ground slam electric or magnetic blast. That Those things really hurt you more compared to the tail whips. I saw this video, I simply commented April Fools and he said, idiot, the Pope cancelled April Fools. Oh, and did you smash your keyboard to create your name? <laughs> uh, L, did he say it in all capitals? Ah, uh, don't worry about it, QBXL. I guess that person or kid might have been really frustrated with something else and took it so out on you. Maybe. Where are my or maybe he got offended too easily uh, for whatever you said. April, you just said April Fools and he got mad. That's really weird. And he was <laughs> the Pope cancelled April Fools. What's it have to do with the Pope cancelling April Fools? All you said was April Fools, right? I don't get it. I don't get why the person got angry. Or are you interpreting the capital letters as that person being angry or something? No, he said it in caps. Oh, I guess maybe, yeah. I don't know why. I don't understand it. They must have definitely got got uh, frustrated for something else and might have taken it out on you. I really don't see why you have to be angry about it. Or was he angry that the Pope cancelled it or something? Wait, how can a Pope cancel April Fools? I mean, why would they cancel April Fools? I don't get it. You as merciful as a moon. Welcome, brother. Thank you, priest. It is good to see Egyptians come back. Since my drummer was jailed, it has been quiet. The silence is striking. A tanner jailed my drummer, accused him of stealing a precious Nubian lion skin from the dive Nubian also, lion. Even worked for him. 
Tragic. He is an honest man. Leave this in my hands, priest. Man, even the scarab's outfit looks pretty cool, even after so many Major, months. My drummer is in the Kibotos arsenal nearest the library. Serapis, walk with you. Serapis, walk with you. I wish I could slide down with my shield right now. I wish that was an option. You could skateboard with your shield or uh, surfboard with your shield. That would have been pretty awesome. <laughs> Sand surfing and so many opportunities. Man, there are so many loot treasures in this place. I haven't even. Oh my god, I didn't even see this. What? Find and rescue the drummer. Which band is he from? And. Whoa. Out of the way. Bayak bathhouse towel outfit. No hood. Okay. God, you and your Bayak's half naked fantasies, QVXL. Where is he? There we go. No hood. Enjoy. QVXL. This is your choice. <laughs> For uh, Assassin's Creed gameplay, this outfit. Maybe you can see him better now. This area oh. is off limits. Need to be careful now. Is it just me or this guy is actually taking you? a leak yeah, big guy. in the wrong place? You got the look of a man who can have things, uh, namely me and my injured foot. I come on the priest's request, drummer. Then get me out of here, Magi. Uh. 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 Hey, what? Oh. Huh. Alert! Oh. Here. oh man, I set off people. Oh, it's so alert. Vito Win uh, Win Luan, welcome to the stream. Bayek the Towel Warrior, yeah, I guess QVXL likes uh, the towel outfit more than usual, I don't know why, but I guess he likes the towel outfit way too much. Hey, wait. What the? Hey, what? Target is in my range. Setting fire to the beacon. No setting fire to anything. Uh oh. Get out. He just had a bath and he's already on fire. Oh, what? He can see me? I should have... Uh-oh. This is bad. Yeah, there we go. No more setting the beacon on fire.
QBXL, why you like this outfit so much? No idea. <laughs> Even his uh, expression in his uh, logo kind of says it all. He doesn't know either. I'm going to rip your eyes out. Or in his uh, profile picture, it kind of shows that he doesn't know either. Hey. I cannot help but think. You seem cheerful for a man unable to walk. You jest, Charlie. This is the best day of my life. My foot will cost that Tana. Surely your health is worth more than that. If I can prove nothing, you would be correct. That is where you come in, friend. Oh, come on! I just try to get this guy out. And already some of them are shooting at me. You guys going down. One. And a two. And that poison damage should do the trick. Why don't you sabotage the blazer? Oh, uh, because I was just trying to get this guy out of the restricted area. I wasn't even thinking about clearing the whole area. And then I made the mistake of uh, getting seen while I was assassinating someone. What, well, I'm supposed to speak to this guy now? What is it you think I can do? Find the fools who stole it, of course. Return that skin and clear my name. Who stole the lion skin? I turned away but, from the oh lion boy. skin for a moment. You can't even see by face, but you can see the towel. I lost <laughs> the crowd. It happened in the Egyptian district. The guards, of course, blame me. Tough life being an Egyptian in Alexandria. I will find them then. Oh, now you can swim, you crazy NPC. Go on. Get that skin. I will be fine. Yeah, Just of course you're going to be fine, egg. liar. Then I will go he and said he couldn't crazy. walk. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I did that on purpose. I think. Imagine if Vyx towel would drop suddenly. That would be a funny animation in this game. Have you heard the legendary tale of SKV and the 12th? Oh, come on! QVXL. <laughs> the legendary tale of SKV and the 12th stone circle of Egypt. They should actually make it a part of uh, the game now. Okay, he's not climbing up. There we go. I did all stone circles. QBXL. No, Vito, he's trying to tease me right now. With something that happened uh, quite a few weeks ago. I would say. <laughs> QBXL is just teasing me. <laughs> but that was a good response saying that you finished all the 12 stone circles <laughs> in your face QVXL oh hey Timex bot welcome back to the stream should I start a game plus yeah definitely if you have finished everything in the main game including unlocking and uh, discovering all the places then yeah definitely go for uh, a new game plus mode it will definitely help you get more new skill points easily Wait a minute. Nothing gets ah! right. oh my god today is not my day with the spells I thought I could take out the guys who are awake first and I didn't even notice that there's one more person in front of him. Oh, this poor beast. Oh, oh blue lion skin, that's a f I didn't notice that. One second. Yo, Tristan Fox Richards, thank you for the sub. 
and also welcome to the stream. Oh, I have to go out and then see who subbed because it doesn't pop up on my screen when I'm in game. So, shout out to Tristan. Thank you for the sub. I hope I pronounced the name right. It goes like this, once upon a time, <laughs> you had to start with the once upon a time. Oh my god. QBXL! SKB was struggling to find the 12th stone circle. After the third time of completing the game, it took him a few hours to find it. SKB had to use a map to find it. Well, duh, without a map you can't find things in this game. Oh hey, the assassins, welcome to the stream. Where had you been till now? You usually show up first or somewhere at the beginning of the stream. Return to the priest. Uh, I'm pretty sure the priest did it. Okay, if you guys want me to change the outfit, uh, you can request it, please. If you don't want to see Bayek in his uh, towel for a long time or anything, do let me know if you want me to change into any other uh, favorite outfits that you guys want me to do a gameplay with. Oh, hey, Mr. Cowboy. Welcome to the stream. When you are too poor to buy the DLC. Oh, yeah, Mr. Cowboy knows about that. Oh, come on, Mr. Cowboy. You're not too poor. You spent so much money getting everything in Far Cry 5, didn't you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't get angry. I'm playing SKV and the Stone Circles. Wait, what? I'm playing Far Cry 5. Oh, nice. How much did you finish in Far Cry 5? Uh, the Assassins? We have to make Naked Bike only just for QVXL. Yeah, that's true. That's this true. QVXL enjoys uh, Bayek in his towel for some he reason. I don't know why. He just he does. Not have stolen a thing. Do you guys rate Seven Far Cry 5 yeah. over Assassin's no. Creed? Or Assassin's you. Creed Origins oh, over Far Cry 5? Uh, Timex bot. I, knew you Egyptians were all alike. This is what I, I think me hiding. streaming for uh, Assassin's Creed but Origins back again after finishing Far Cry 5, uh, should tell you what I think about the game. You already know how much I like Assassin's Creed Origins. I mean, I like the Far Cry 5 this series. I mean, the thief. Far Cry uh, Far Please Cry deal. series, but he claims to not have stolen it. I don't know. Once you finish up with the main story, Far Cry 5, no. it doesn't give you that much of a, a repeatable okay. chance, like how Assassin's Creed does, right? And Timex Bot, how could you say you want to unsubscribe just because I started playing Far Cry 5? <laughs> that was a weird comment that day. Uh, oh, you started today? Oh. Yo, TikTok. Welcome to the stream. And you got the game today. Oh, AJ got it yesterday. You got it today. I think even AJ has, uh, I mean, I AJ already so messaged us in the stream saying that he's really it. loving the that Far Cry 5 it. game. I he's really enjoying it. Like. So I didn't, I luckily he didn't see any of my streams to have any spoilers. Have SKB make we Bayek bold. It. What do you mean make Bayek bold? Oh, balls. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what QVXL wants from Bayek in his towel. Do you wish Serapis displeased with you? No. Hola, monsieur. I return with the blue lion skin. I am the wrong party here. My skin was stolen. I wonder how the actual lion would have looked completely blue in color. This is your answer, priest. And with the beard. Oh. Did anyone here defeat all the elephants? 
I did. I'm raising my hands. Blessings on your journey, brother. Actually, one of my hands. I'm raising my hands, Vito. This is my fourth time playing Assassin's Creed Origins. <laughs> and still I forgot where the 12th stone circle was. The, the one particular stone circle kind of keeps getting away from me all the time. But yeah, I've defeated all the war elephants. I'm the only one here with a potato PC, Mr. Cowboy. Would you relax? You really need to stop complaining about that. We've all been there, Mr. Cowboy. Every one of us have been there with the potato PC. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. How do you say it? Potato? Potato. In my Indian accent, maybe. Oh, and Vito, Penagiotis is actually the topmost scorer, or is he the first, or is he the highest scorer in uh, Horde mode? Penagiotis, did anyone beat you in Horde mode I'm score? Or are you still the reigning champion? Q, uh, QXL, maybe you'll get the sto 12 stone circle with the fi for the fifth time? Yeah, definitely. The amount of times you've been teasing me with the 12th stone circle, I still know where it is now. I don't think I'll uh, miss it out this time. I'll definitely get it on the 5th time. <laughs> QVXL. I mean, I don't have a potato PC, it's just that today's games... Yeah, that's still the same thing, Mr. Cowboy. You have a potato PC. Potato, potato. Because obviously games are uh, going up in their graphics. But I think they do try a lot to try and uh, optimize the games for lower specification type PCs. But then it's only so much that they can do with such big games, right? I mean they even introduced uh, the benchmark, uh, benchmark something uh, test. For Final Fantasy 15, even uh, Far Cry 5 had the benchmark test in it already, in the options, if you've tried it. Are you talking about Red Ember Main Hunt in Far Cry 5? No. And QVXL... Wait. Panagiotis is still at the top. There's a lot of people that have... Oh, wait. There's a lot of people who have beaten you already in Horde mode. I think up until the Curse of the Pharaohs, no one had beaten you, right, Panagiotis? After the Curse of the Pharaohs showed up, uh, everyone got a chance to go up in their score, I guess. Aya's home. How did I not get the loot treasure here? Hmm. But first... <laughs> Let me know if anyone wants me to change the outfit. The there is one thing. Completely. There has been food taken by the guards malignly in the name of Serapis. Are you they take a tithe, 813. Then take SKV help they bring it to their me out with Ember Main Hunt. Okay, life. sure. Ember Main the is pretty easy. Uh, as long as you know how to trip it. Do not worry, priest. I will see the people fed. I will await among the people at the docks. Are you oh, and Mr. Cowboy, I think uh, Eagle was talking about the Dauntless game. Use the beard. Nanda, yo. <laughs> Fine. Looks like only QVXL is making the request for changes with the outfit. So we are stuck with the bathhouse towel outfit until someone else makes a new request. Luckily, it's night, so it doesn't matter that much. <coughs> See, even the ladies are getting crazy looking at Bayek running around half naked. <laughs> Last Eagle got the key code for out Dauntless. Out of the way. Out of the way. Oh, I meant Get that if you way. don't play Assassin's Creed Origins. 
in your channel, then I might unsubscribe. Wait, what? Because I'm an Assassin's Creed Origins fanboy? Yeah, but how does that explain you saying that you want to unsubscribe from my channel because I started playing Far Cry 5? <laughs> but yeah, subscriptions are definitely free in YouTube, so you can do as you please. I can't do... I can't force you to do anything. Timex bot. But I too like Assassin's Creed Origins a lot. So... Yeah, I guess that's all I can say. How, how do I get inside? Is that a door? Wow. There's no door. Nanda. Balcony? No balcony. Oh. There's a door but it's not open. Nanda. Oh, this way. Oopsie. I should have just entered this way. Somehow I feel this one is going to give him flashback of... Oh, I didn't. Isn't this supposed to be Aya's uh, home or something? Yeah, it is. It says so on the top of the screen. I cancelled it. I don't know, I cancelled it. Bye, I need to go. Oh, uh, thank you for joining, Timex bot. You're always welcome. Uh, and also have a pleasant day. We'll see you next time on the stream. SKB, please wear that outfit you wore yesterday from Curse of the Pharaohs, which you said was your favorite. Oh, you mean Servant of a Moon? That's def definitely my uh, top five favorites. Uh, first one being uh, the Celestial Raiment. Actually, both of these two would be my first favorites in the game right now. But I guess this is the one you were telling. Oh, no beard, please. And then a little bit of a mask. Check that out. Where's that crazy undead horse? I mean, eternal horse. Can we both do arcade maps? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Mr. Cowboy, today I'll be helping out uh, uh, Last Eagle with Dauntless. Let me know if you're gonna be free tomorrow, somewhere around morning. Or do you have school tomorrow? Uh, is your vacation over or something, uh, Mr. Cowboy? Let me know. Because every time I check on Uplay, you're offline, so... It's only at this time when you get free, right? Ah. Wait, tomorrow is a Friday, right? Yeah, you have school. Oh, man. Uh, how about... Uh, maybe after tomorrow's stream, uh, we can do a little bit of arcade maps. Would that be okay with you? You're just gonna blow me up, aren't you? You just want me to turn off that one uh, friendly fire option and then you're gonna blow me up. I'm pretty sure of that. Is it just me or the frame rates are uh, started to drop? Seems like the frame rates have kind of started to drop. Oh, come on. That one particular. Oh, and he's limping now. 
Hey, we can do on Sunday. You say Sunday, but you're not free on Sunday sometimes. Okay, Mr. Cowboy, on Sunday, uh, remember, even if I have the no disturb sign on uh, Uplay, you can message me if I'm online. And then we can go for an arcade co-op, okay? Don't give me the reason that uh, you saw the no disturb sign and then you didn't uh, wanna disturb me or something like that. Like I said, it might have the no disturb sign on it, but you can still message me, right? And Mr. Cowboy is already gone to play uh, Assassin's Creed 2 Vito. Vito, uh, which is my favorite Assassin's Creed game? I would say Black Flag and this one. Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh, I thought I could get away from him. Uh oh, got seen. Oh, what? He just smacked my hand. Uh, but currently, I really like this particular Assassin's Creed series. And I've already played Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag and then uh, Assassin's Creed 3 and then uh, I think I've played Brotherhood if I'm not wrong. I keep getting confused with Assassin's Creed uh, 3 and Brotherhood sometimes although it's completely different. And also Unity I'm still playing, I haven't completed Unity yet. I always end up having some kind of uh, game freezes or uh, frame drops every time I play that game on stream. I don't know why. Did I complete this place? Yes, I did. Next stop, question mark or side quests. Oh, and I don't know if you guys know, but this this particular uh, tunnel over here with the water going in like this check this out there's an underground tunnel below this place it's pretty awesome if anyone doesn't know my best favorite assassin's creed game is black flag it's above all others i like black flag mainly because of the the pirate theme that it has and also the fact that it has uh, crazy amounts of uh, possibilities with the assassinations I really like that but I guess this particular game I really like mostly for the amount of outfits and mounts and weapons and the crazy amount of uh, stories that you can keep going through side quests, main quests DLC, this one kinda seems really big compared to the other Assassin's Creed stories I don't really want to compare this one to the previous ones because this gameplay is completely different from uh, the other ones. Especially the controls, everything is simplified in this game. You don't even have to hold shift for sprint anymore or use spacebar for jump. Spacebar has become, uh, well at least for PC, lots of changes. I don't know how consoles have uh, the changes or is it the same controls? for consoles Assassin's Creed Rogue was basically another black flag really? Assassin's Creed Rogue was like black flag? I didn't know that uh, you mean the gameplay wise or the story? I don't think the story would have been the same I guess maybe the gameplay this area is off limits Whoa. 
gameplay wise okay oh, and sometimes the delay on the stream might be just uh, 10 or uh, 15 seconds but i'm the one who's always taking more of a delay to reply so don't mind me i'm just trying to concentrate both on the messages and especially mainly the game so i kind of miss out on some of the messages I guess that's why uh, YouTubers who stream, uh, the ones who have like crazy amounts of subscribers, they don't end up uh, answering everyone, I guess. Because there are so many messages going through the chat, right? Why is he still crouching? Number two with some number four with the large number five and the number seven with the side of number one. Okay. I don't even want to ask what just what QEXL just said or typed with the numbers. Oh, wait a minute. I know. It's, oh, don't tell me. Wait a minute. Is it some kind of a reference uh, from that 70s show or something where Eric uses numbers to actually swear at people? QVXL? Yeah, but Story of Rogue was good. And you like this game for microtransactions too, right? Oh, come on, Mr. Cowboy. That's getting too old with the microtransaction comments. If I didn't buy it and showcase it, you wouldn't know whether or not you wanted to get the thing or not. And you always end up asking to showcase it, don't you? And then you always comment that I go for the microtransactions. There was someone who commented, I think I already said this. Someone commented in some, one of my videos saying that I'm uh, promoting microtransactions and shame on me. I'm like, I'm a gamer dude. If I like something, I would definitely want to buy it if I have money, right? And obviously, it's nothing but appreciating the developer's effort to make something in the game. I actually wanted to ask them uh, if I'm promoting microtransactions. Does that mean that they're promoting uh, piracy for wanting everything for free? She claimed the Phoebe was. Someone's clothing. Torn. Yo, QVXL, what's with the number system, dude? I hope you're not trying to use those numbers as a replacement for something else. Because the last time I heard that was in that 70s show, the TV the series. Leads to this door. I must prepare myself. Ah! The Phoebe, uh, your mother sent me to find you. Well... That's good. I would have hurt you otherwise. With my mind. <laughs> I doubt it, little man. Okay. And now Please you're using up. full stops oh. and hyphens and Feeling a bit slashes. Dizzy. I think I lost a lot of blood. I but don't understand QVXL. You might as well just cross. say something in English or ah, type fine. something in English that I would understand. I that makes sense. Mother sent a warrior to protect me. A philosopher does need a guard. Hey, I'm not your guard. I'm helping your mother. Your badge? The Phoebe. The Eye of Horus? The Phoebe sounds my very... Badge. I mean, Venture. they've kind of made him sound very intellectual, ah, knowing that he's going to be a philosopher or whatever. Weren't they killed by the Ptolemies? They forgot one. Would you let me write your story? The last Seems Venture very polite and all that. Fantastic tale. Well, what kind of story would you tell, the Phoebe? I know. There, get him! He robbed us! Changing yeah, to dual blades Defend today. My free will, warrior. I will deal with them. Oh, that was easy. Uh, uh, 
Γεια σα, Φίλι. Ο Ροκατό είναι από Θανήν. Πολέμο κρύξεστε. Ού έντατε. Φίλι, did you leave anything else out of your adventure? Say a crate of drachmas. You wound me. Man, this outfit is pretty awesome. I'm really glad they introduced this outfit for the curse of the pharaohs. Along with the crazy amounts of really good looking weapons and really nice stats on them, too. Come and see me any time in Alexandria, Magi. I will be a great philosopher. Just you wait. I and let's see how that new uh, control panel is going to be for uh, Assassin's Creed. Should be fun trying to tweak out everything. Although I hope I keep it balanced and not mess it up too much with the tweaking of the parameters. I guess I'll just stick to playing with different characters and maybe trying to make a few changes with the uh, health for Bayek maybe I'll put uh, 4 health bars rather than 3 if I'm allowed to in that control panel although the control panel is definitely going to be limited to a certain percentage or whatever even selecting a number of companions as, uh, I mean, a number of animals for companions is a max way. of five, I think, oh according to what Last Eagle confirmed yesterday from the forums. Okay, looks like I haven't got this particular... Wait, what the... Oh, I didn't get both the papyrus scrolls from this place. Three papyrus scrolls? What? Man. I haven't completed Alexandria at all. And I finished up with uh, Curse of the Pharaohs and Hidden Ones completely. Somehow today, oh, it started. Uh, maybe the NPCs in this area are so many that it's taking time to both upload the stream and kind of take care of the graphics and textures loading quickly lots of npcs qvxl english please the words not the letters I mean the words or whatever sentences you're trying to say. Whoa. Oh, explain yourself. Explain myself. Why? I'm just a gamer trying to play games with some bad. Oh my god. Definitely something's wrong with the. Uh... Aha! I knew it. It was showing very, very stable or whatever before with the green color. Now it's already unstable. Frame rates are dropping like crazy in this place. I should definitely get to hoard mode as soon as I finish up with. Uh, where is the papyrus scroll again? This one, right? Yeah, I hope I don't get into trouble with uh, a game crash right now. Well, why does this happen? Is it because I'm streaming and I'm playing the game for too long or something? Oh, thank you for joining Vito. Uh, and also have a good day or a good night or a very good morning. Thank you for joining the stream. And in case someone did subscribe and their name didn't pop up on the screen, I'm sorry, It sometimes Streamlabs has some issues. 
yesterday someone subscribed and i couldn't give them a shout out because the name didn't pop up or the some kind of a, a the subscription tone and that sound that uh, says that someone subscribed even that one didn't uh, sound right so i couldn't give a shout out i think anwar or someone subscribed yesterday just in case you did subscribe and you didn't uh, get the name on the screen please do let me know in the chat even if you haven't subscribed and you want a shout out <laughs> maybe i'll just give it to you Someone wanted to know why I don't set a trap to these beacons. So I'm setting a trap now. But if I'm good at stealth, which I am only sometimes, not all the time, just like everyone else. I don't think you'll need to set a trap if you're really good at stealth in these kind of places. And I did I get all of it? Did I finish up with this place? Yes, I did. And moving on to the last bodyguard. Now, oh, this is kind of a boring side quest. I have to keep following a girl wherever she takes me shopping. I'm supposed to be a bodyguard, but I end up following her. and then some kind of a horse or something she likes we have to go check that out but let's see after i finish with this whoa what the what the you guys seeing this we have a horse that looks like a corgi and its face is stuck inside some other horse's stomach or some other part but this one has feet like a or legs like a corgi the dog <laughs> a corgi horse oh whoa oh my god the bug is so crazy yo horsey do you need help finally it seems to be fine now Got go you are a man of honor even qv excel left i didn't see that i am a magi oopsie i solve problems good i have one the most precious treasure Okay, after I finish up with this particular uh, side quest, I'm just going to start off with the horde mode. I'm definitely having issues with the frame rates today. I think ever since that one particular update, one point or something, something. One point ten? No, one point one zero. Something. Some update messed up the uh, frame rate somehow. I never used to have these issues at the beginning ah, of the stream. Ah, workers never when you tell them to be. As I was saying, you must be quick. Oh, and do not stray from your task at all. I will know if you have. This is all I have left since the flood. Seems you care a lot for your cargo. I swear on her mother's grave she was sent from the gods to make Alexandria better. <laughs> She. I have your bodyguard, Kara. Do not let this be a repeat of the last time, Doc. Wait, oh, this hardly seems to be what you asked. Medjay, I will put Dragmas down your throat as long as she is safe. And Kara, remember the reception tonight. You will be ready. Of course, father. I would not miss it. I am so happy you have come to assist me, sir. We will get you home fast. Do not worry. Oh, of course. Thank you, my bull. 
You look just like Heracles. Perhaps I'll call you my Heracles. Yeah, please Finally. don't call me anything. I know you're going to change your attitude. Hmm? Ah, no matter. Child, it's time to return you home. I will not go. Have you met the priests here? Dull. Now, I must go to the central market. I heard of new Persian linens. I need them. Or what? I will scream, which will call the soldiers. Then, well, even if you survive, father will be quite angry. Anubis, take this city. Are you Sekhmet in disguise? Sent to test me. Bodyguard. What was that? Nothing. Good. First, we must of get my all the things Bayek gets into this situation right now. You'd think someone would clean this water. Ugh. The what do you mean? The water graphics are great in this game. Couldn't you just wait till I parked the boat or something? She had to jump into the water. And that was a weird dive as well. I simply adore this part of the city. So rustic. You can smell it in the air. They live a truly simple life here. Pegasus simply can't wait to be reunited with me. Of course. Right. Pegasus. This is Pegasus. One guy wrote in forums that as Cleo always flirted with Bayek, Aya assassinated her. That's the real reason. Wait, Aya didn't assassinate Cleopatra, did she? She just told her to behave as uh, and how they wanted her to behave. Right? Of course. And I thought Cleopatra, according to history or something, committed suicide? If I'm not wrong. If only you had wings. Time to go, bodyguard. Time to go, bodyguard. Crazy. <laughs> oh man, I wish they would fall off when I did this. <laughs> I guess not. That is it. I am taking you home, Princess Kara. Oh, all you big broody types are the same. Never let me have any fun. I should just leave you here. Which way do I go? I have to reach this place, so... Okay. You're duty-bound to deliver me, are you not? This way. Who would know if I left? To the main road. Oh, your conscience would, of course. Yes, yeah, Kevin, it's mentioned in an Assassin's there, Creed game. Th that is where I had now you tell me, should I name the, the game? I am sure he was very now you tell me, should I name the game? You will be more excited then. We Wait, what? The market for more linens. I will take you to your the house as your father paid, Name the game? Now, what do you on. mean? I you didn't know, understand one bit about that, what you said just now, last There are different kinds of linens? You are much Sorry more about that. Than That's my microphone cards. going beep. With a sharp sound. You can move faster, bodyguard. I have a name. Bayek. Ah, you do know my name. I remember all their names, you know. Whose names? The bodyguards. I send gifts to their families when I can. Gara. Gara. Yes. If we go find your linens, would you be happy? Really? Of course! Thank you, Bayek! You have an interest Amunet assassinated there. Cleopatra, killed her with a venomous snake. This story is mentioned in Assassin's Creed game. Should I name it? Uh, no thank you. I think it would be the Assassin's Creed 2 if you are going to name it. I'm pretty sure. Because that's your favorite game of Assassin's Creed, right? So I'm guessing it's uh, Assassin's Creed 2 that has this little bit of information. <laughs> See, I didn't even know and I guessed right. Oh my god, they both just jumped out. Follow Kara. Wait, why does she always run away? <laughs> and now someone's gonna steal the horse. Aha! Finally! These 
linens show some promise. Just in case, I'll keep so my heavy. horse close by. Could you help me? Carry linens. <laughs> now what? Pegasus, they stole my horse. Well, they stole Stay here. your horse. Who told you to leave the horse? Oh, great! The father is here. Now he's going to get angry. Get Pegasus from the thief. Fine. Going after the thief who stole Pegasus. So let's see. Eternal Maw faster than Pegasus? I guess so. As long as I can get close enough for my predator bow to do the rest, I think I can get things done. Taking shortcuts now. Clear off! Clear off! Yeah, definitely uh, textures are loading in slow again. I guess I've been playing for way too long now. Is that it? It is done. Whoa there, God. Hey, time to get you home. Wow, that's pretty crazy that hippos didn't really care about me right in front like of them. It. it suits a horse. I would like your spirit. Huh. Have I finished this place? Yes, I have. I just need to get one loot treasure from there. I guess I'll finish this uh, particular side quest and uh, head over to the horde mode. And you already know what that means. I'll be ending the stream if I enter the horde mode. Uh, and I did start the stream a bit late today, so sorry if you feel like I'm ending the stream early. But I guess we've done about almost... Oh, hello! Hello! There's already an avenging quest. Need to do that. Have to do that. Speak to Kara's father. Not now. You can wait. Uh, we're gonna be avenging someone in this place. <laughs> Man, the frame rates are going crazy. Maybe I should change the graphics. Put it back to default or something rather than put it to way too high. But I guess Alexandria is the one place right now which has too many things in the game, too many NPCs. Oh, this place! There's gonna be a lot of people here. I don't even know if I'll be able to activate the Avenging Quest now. Knowing that uh, these guys are way too alert all the time. Okay, here we go. I guess I can put these guys to sleep. And then go close to this thing. What? Hey, what? Mm, something seems off here. And avenging fringe. Oh, this is the second time I'm avenging fringe. If I'm not wrong, where is the person I need to kill? 200 meters away? Oh, here itself. Should be pretty easy. Get things done quickly. Silence! And done. Thank you, Fringe, for letting me wear the Altair's outfit. SKB, what do you think about uh, Order of the Ancients? How did they get to know about the crazy piece of Eden? This thing should have been shown more clear. Hmm. I don't know. I guess they didn't really portray how uh, how uh, the order of the ancients got to know about the pieces, but I guess they most probably concentrated more on uh, uh, Bayek's 
story and how the Assassin's Creed originated or the hidden ones uh, were created because of what Bayek went through. But yeah, I guess you're right. We, they should have uh, told us how they found out and what their uh, goal is with uh, those pieces as well. I don't know what else to say about it. But I, I think if you look at it this way, uh, Bayek and the story related to Bayek in this game definitely kind of explains how the Assassin's Creed was originated, hence the title Origins. But then your question, I think even I have the same question. I don't even know why they're looking for it or how they're going to use it. Do you have any idea? I actually wanted to know about the origins of the Peace of Edens as well and how did the Templars know about that artifact? I don't know. How much does it cost to hire a Medjay permanently? I am here only a short while. Man, look at this lighting. It makes it look so real. Okay, maybe not the horse. And we're done. Bayek, you've returned to me. Are you ready to be my personal Medjay? No, thank uh, you. Well, uh, no. I, I continue. You see... <laughs> you are so gullible, Bayek. I'm only happy to see you still in one piece. Best bodyguard in this city. Where's Celestial Raymond in Horde mode? Okay. Uh, before I start the Horde mode, you already know I always give a shout out to everyone in the stream chat. So let's do that first. While we... Oh wait, I can't go into the Horde mode directly without wearing the Celestial Raymond. But uh, starting off with the shout outs to shout out to Last Ego, shout out to QVXL, shout out to Vito Win Luan, uh, shout out to Mr. Cowboy, shout out to Timex Bot, uh, shout out to Panagiotis, shout out to Tristan Fox Richards, thank you Tristan for the sub as well. And shout out to Terence Lee, shout out to TikTok Tom, The Assassins, uh, did I miss out anyone else? Shout out to Ordell Winfield, shout out to Pete Gamer, I think I got everyone right? Hopefully I didn't miss out on anyone. Oh, and uh, shout out to uh, Deutschland fans. I hope it's Dutchland fans. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Oh, wait a minute. Nanda. Yo, how do I pronounce that name? Steven Sable. CJ Steven Sable. Uh, shout out to CJ Steven Sable. I hope I pronounced the name right. Thank you for the sub, thank you so much. I, I hope I pronounced the name right. Everything is in small letters, so I kind of saw the name Steven and Sable. So I thought the CJ was the initial. I hope I got that right. And also thank you for the sub, Steven. And shout out to El Flaco Rodriguez and Rudy Joe as well. Shout out to Shrekker too. And, 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 I hope I didn't miss, uh, oh, Shah the Dude, shout out to Shah the Dude, and Kobe Kobe, shout out to Kobe Kobe, AJ Styles, yo, what, what, Navi Rana, thank you for the sub, wait, you were watching the stream, you could have said hey, and a hello to Steven, thank you for the sub, Steven, I hope I got your name right. Uh, and right now we're going to go to horde mode. This is how I usually end, usually end the Assassin's Creed Origin streams with a horde mode fight, trying to survive up until whatever the max level, uh, waves I can go up to. 
Wait a minute, Celestial Raiment. Last Eagle, you asked for that. <laughs> this one has uh, melee resistance only. I think this shield is pretty good. Since it is pretty much the same as the... Uh, which is that? Aru? Or is it Amit Shield? Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Amit Shield has damage absorption rate. Actually, this one's pretty good too. I guess this could go off as uh, top 5 shields in the game right now. Amit Shield with the damage absorption rate and melee resistance. But right now I'm mainly concentrating on melee resistance and range resistance. Should I have the poison on block by any chance? Although I really should have melee resistance that really helps out. Uh, take down like 50% of the damage from melee attacks since it is the horde mode I guess I'll stick to this then I wish I had some other perk other than the sleep on block but I guess they kind of balanced it out maybe poison on block would have actually made this shield way too OP but yeah thank you Steven Oh, and Steven, I think you can also... Wait, you have the game, right, Steven? Uh, if you still don't have this outfit from the hacker chest, you can actually get this outfit. Uh, we made a recent video on this one where you have to do a little bit of uh, gimmick to make sure you get this uh, particular outfit with just a few expenditure of drachmas in the game. You can check it out, it's on my channel, uh, how to get the Celestial Raymond outfit, the video. But yeah, most of them still have issues and uh, most of them who watched the video and did the same trick as uh, what Last Eagle suggested, I think you can end up with this and also this particular mount. Where is it? Yeah, this one. You end up with the Celestial Raymond, which is supposed to be the... Hardest drop in the Hekka chest, I think. And also that particular uh, camel is the hardest drop. Okay, here we go. Uh, and again, thank you guys for joining me on the stream today. This is going to be the last part of the stream. This horde mode usually stretches out more than 30 minutes or so. So, it might be the last part, but it definitely will be a long last part. Here we go. Oh, I didn't check the score. I wanted to see what Panagiotis' score is. <laughs> I didn't check the score. But yeah, this outfit is my top most favorite outfit along with the Servant of a Moon. The Celestial Raiment. The Eastern Dynasty pack outfit. Looks pretty awesome with the dragon and all that, the scales. 151,000, oh my god, Panagiotis. What was my best score? I think I did 110. Was that my 110,000? Was my best score, I think. But I guess I'm, I should really start off with uh, the dual blade so that I can uh, get some poison. Man, it's been way too long since I did the horde mode. Did I do the horde mode yesterday? Oh, no, I didn't. No wonder it feels like it's been way too long. Oh, no, you did it. And I think I'll build up the poison clouds first. So that uh, later I can start using the multiple attacks on... Uh, the spear. Target is in range. Oh, come on. I'll kill you. I kill you. Oh, this is gonna take some time because I have to reach up to wave 30 now, 39. That's gonna be pretty hard. I might end up dying somewhere around 35 to 38. Or maybe even faster if I'm way too careless. Uh, uh, more gladiators have come to test 
to the C1. 151,000 Penegiot is oh my god. I think my best is 110. Around 110. Oh, the poison damage definitely stuns them a little bit. Does a lot of... Def oh, that guy just went flying. He went flying in the opposite direction. And ended up at that wall. Wait a minute. Is there another guy here? Aha, found you. Where do you think you're going? There will be no pause in the slaughter. And I'm using the Venomous Grace Dual Blades. Whoa, the tag team. Yeah, that's right. Dual Blades can do that. Man, the poison damage on this particular dual blades is way better than any other. Definitely does way more better damage compared to... Oh no, you didn't. And you can't even get the perfect dodge to get that golden boost from the ability. Oh, what the? Taking way too long to get the... Keep doing light attacks. Because the faster you do more uh, poison damage, the faster they die. Except this big guy always ends up smacking you in the face. Oh, you know what? Just die. And then a chain throw should finish this guy off. Oh, and always try to hit them from the back. You do a lot of critical damage from the back. If you hit them on the back. Although they keep turning towards you, it's pretty hard to... Okay, I wish I could use a... Wait, what the? I didn't know using a block. No, not block. What is it? And he's dead. How is he not dead with that much health and poison affection? Yep, now he died. There we go, slowly. Oh, what the... I better switch to the... This takes way too long with the dual blades or any other. It's so much more easier to finish them off. See? Easy multiple hits with the max range on the spear. Oh, what the? He hit me from behind him? Oh, no, you didn't. Wait, are we not done yet? Now we are done. Wait, what? Oh, I'm not able to see anything because of the poison clouds. This is bad. Finally. Always best to stay inside the cloud. See what I mean? It already stunned these two. And the health is down. Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho. he went and slammed into the wall. I didn't know we could do that when they're actually running, I guess. Oh my god. Always get them towards the poison clouds. Whoa, this guy came out of nowhere. Poison. Oh my god, you can't see anything because of the poison. Whoa! Oh, did he just make a farmer comment on me? New gladiators enter the arena. How is it that I can't see them but they can see me so clearly? See the amount of roundabout attacks you can do and get multiple kills? Takes. Imagine if you could do this with the axe. Oh my god. The axe would have been such an... Oh my god, is that an arrow in my back? Good night. You gladiators enter the arena. <laughs> I still have the arrow in my back. Oh my god. Can't even see anything. I'm definitely gonna die at wave 38. Or maybe somewhere with the Oh, he died even before I did the stab. I can hit the target. Multiple kills no with just the this roundabout attack. New blood has arrived. And the fact that it has health on kill definitely gives you back like 15% health every time you kill an enemy. Which kind of most probably might get me killed. I should have had a health per hit for the later stage because I definitely am going to get killed by the tougher, tougher uh, skull type icons. Oh, he just slapped me. Oh, they started puking. Oh, finally a finisher. Now look at the amount of bodies that I've piled up. Oh, come on. I was too slow with this. Oh, come on! Why did the overpowered attack activate now? Oh, he went to sleep? That's the first time. <laughs> and he puked. The sleep on block activates like once in some hundred blocks or something. Let's see if I can put someone to sleep with just the block. And uh, sleep. Nope. One more hit. Oh, there we go. Finally. Hitting the back definitely gives yellow critical hit points. I can't see what what is going on inside this cloud. The C1 still stands. 
But new opponents are here to end his challenge. Maybe I should uh, get out of that one spot. Maybe I can stick to this side. Oh my god, this is the only side that has enough space for you to try out new things and dodge. Boom! Next! Wait, is there still someone else? Who is it? Archer? Aha! Uh -huh. Not Archer. Okay, okay. Still wave 16. Have to go all the way till wave 38. Oh my god. Oh, hell lot of Archers out now. Only Taibi. I've heard that thing so many times, I still don't know what it means. Where's the other guy? Found you. Four men ready to fight to the death. Uh, I think I shouldn't have done the poison cloud. This thing is way more darker than what uh, Neptune's grasp used to do with the poison cloud. Oh! Finally, another finisher. Man, I wish we had a separate uh, command or something. When the health is low on an enemy, we could do a finisher with just the press of a button rather than actually expect a finisher on the last standing enemy. That would have been nice to see a few finishers. This spectacle is not over yet. Welcome these Wave 19. Wave 20 is going to open up the pit. Oh, come on. Oh, that does it. Take this. And then take out that guy who runs pretty fast. Oh, this guy got in the way. Oh, I saw that. Three in one. I could have got a four in one. But that oh New gladiators enter like i said arena. wave 20 pit is open and it's as easy as just walking into it and falling down because that's what happens if you're too close how am i not able to get the perfect dodge See, hitting the bat gives you like crazy amounts of uh, critical damage. Hitting the front gives you more white points compared to the yellow ones. And you have to be exactly at the back to get the yellow points. Oh my god, I can't see anything. I'm definitely gonna get killed by archers. Or maybe not. Luckily, the poison is kind of losing its effect. Oh wait, every time new enemies come, they're gonna be affected by the poison damage and they're gonna keep the poison going. That's why poison is such a dangerous thing in this game and it's so OP. Every new enemy that shows up gets affected by poison. And there's enough time on the poison to actually affect another enemy who spawns later in that particular area. <laughs> Done. Wave 23. Come on. Another 10. Another 10. 
I should finish this as soon as possible. Let's do this. Come on, chain throws. Done, next. 24. Oh my god, this poison thing is gonna get me killed. I can't see anything. I shouldn't have done that poison attack at the beginning. Uh oh. Is anyone able to see what I'm doing? I mean, I can see clearly when I get close to them. And luckily I have the health on kill, but I should have got the health on hit as well. Because the higher stages have these crazy, really strong guys. Their health doesn't go down pretty easily. With just one or two hits. <coughs> Come on, wave. Oh, got it. Perfect dodge. And he's completely golden. It only stays for like 10 seconds and it's gone. You don't even know what type of uh, damage boost you get on it. Pretty... Pretty useless, I would say. Because just to get the perfect dodge itself is a big deal. Next. Wave 27, come on. Getting to wave 30. Oh. Get out of the corner. What the which way am I running? Oh my god, too much poison clouds, poison smoke, not a good thing. Advantageous, yes. Disadvantageous, also yes. Whoa, all big guys now? Okay, let's do this. Oh, I got hit. Need to be careful. What the double hit? Oh my god, I'm so dead. I am so dead. I should really be careful with this. Oh, thank you. Wave 29, that was too close. Died too early in the horde mode. But I guess it does get kind of repetitive if you don't have uh, too many weapon choices. I wonder how it would have been if you, if you were able to use the warrior bow in this particular uh, horde mode. Oh, there we go. Can't assassinate him in horde mode. Finally, wave 30. Oh, hey, uh, Bratton Games. Did I pronounce it name? I mean, did I pronounce the name right? Bratton Games. Uh, thank you. 
And also welcome to the last part of today's stream. Uh oh. Uh oh. Man, I'm not getting any finishers. The C1 still stands, but new opponents are here to end his challenge. In range. <laughs> oh, he kicked me in the back. <laughs> Got two of them. Oh, I got hit by the spikes. Where is the Sarchar? There you guys are. Wait, is that anyone else? Oh. Wave 32! Come on, getting close to wave 38. That's when all the crazies come out. And it gets tough. Oh, what the? No, 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 no combos. Please, no combos. But if you compare this particular spear to any other spears in the game, it's definitely more powerful, it feels. Feels more powerful. Not the cursed, cursed weapon spears. I'm talking about this. The normal legendary spears, whatever. Easier to get the multiple hits with the roundabout damages. I mean roundabout attack. Come on, no finishers. What the? What is your record in waves? Oh, I've actually gone up to wave 39, but I haven't crossed it yet. I always end up getting killed in wave 39, even if I make it past wave. Oh, wait. I think I might have crossed wave 39 if I'm not wrong. I haven't uh, crossed wave 40 though. My highest score is around 110,000. Have you crossed your uh, score on wave 39 or whatever? Because I kind of find it even hard to fight three the three of those uh, skull enemies, uh, those skull icons on their head when they go red, when they turn red. Wave 35. Okay, getting close. Although I think I might die because I ended up smoking up the whole whole, whole place with poison clouds. I might get into trouble. Oh, that was too close. These big guys and those uh, little guys with the shield, they have a really good uh, combination attack. I always end up getting killed by the combination. Oh, come on. And I always wish that I had a health per hit. That definitely helps at the ending stages rather than health on kill because until I kill someone, I don't get the health back, which is a bad thing. Man, I should have just had, rather than poison, I should have had a health on hit weapon. Oh, okay. Wave 37 is when all the red enemies come out. I need to finish them off pretty quickly. Can't take too many chances. Problem is I can't use... I cannot use smoke screens, which kind of gets me into way more trouble. Oh boy, wave 38. Here we go. I might end up dying here or might end up going up to wave 30. Uh oh, see what I mean? 
Okay, I really need to be careful. Oh, I need to be so careful right now. I need to take out the archers. They are the ones who get me into trouble. Okay, where are the archers? Yes! Oh, thank you so much for that. Oh, what? He didn't die. I think I can go up to wave 39 now. Oh, okay, now I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. It's always these big guys who get me into trouble. They have the skull mark. They're always way more stronger. Getting a hit on them. Okay, I really need to... Oh, what happened to the poison clouds? They're all gone. Oh, can't take any chances. Oh, what? No, no, no. Oh, I made a mistake. I definitely made a mistake. Oh, come on, no. Well, uh, that's it. <laughs> That's it for today's stream. I never, never get to go beyond that. Oh, looks like my score is not 110. It was 103. Wait, I'm pretty sure I crossed 110, didn't I? On a particular uh, stream, someone challenged me to go above 110. And I did. I'm pretty sure I remember that. Huh. I guess what's recorded is recorded. Well, I guess this is my highest score and uh, 38 waves is the best I could complete till now. I've never crossed 39, I guess. It's always those uh, enemies with the skull mark on their head. I should get a spear which does health on hit. Oh, I should have got a spear. The Lance of Unhur would have been nice, but it doesn't have that good of a damage as this one. But anyways, that's today's stream. And again, a uh, shout out to Bratton Games also for joining us on the stream today. And uh, thank you, Steven Sable, for the sub. And also Tristan. And also Navi Rana. I hope I remembered correctly. And again, thank you guys for joining me for the stream today. I will be ending the stream right now. Uh, Tomorrow also, most probably, I'll do Assassin's Creed itself. Unless if I can find Last Eagle online, maybe I'll do a little bit of Dauntless. He keeps talking so much about Dauntless, might as well do that tomorrow. Maybe I can help out a little bit. Or maybe I can do Dauntless on Saturday. Tomorrow is Friday for me. Let's see. Something, something. But yeah, that's about it for today. And again, thank you so much for joining me on the stream. And also thank you for the subs. And as always, keep smiling. I'll catch you guys tomorrow and I'll be signing out right now. Maybe I can get one photo. I haven't done any photo modes lately in the stream, have I? Guess not.
Oh, too much color. Maybe I can go with the black and white. Can't go wrong with classics, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining today. And uh, I will be ending the stream right now, like I said. And uh, as always, keep smiling and see ya. Yeah, today I'm not gonna pull it along and uh, keep saying the same things over and over again. I'm definitely ending the stream right now. Thank you so much for joining.